All right, use your water can. It's kind of uh, discharged, still has pressure on it though. So we're gonna refill it. What do you do? Turn it upside down, take this hose out upside down, get the air out first before we unscrew it. I missed it because um, people are too loud. Upside down, pull the trigger, wait for it so like nothing comes out. It's still pressurized a little bit. Might have to flip it again. Upside down. Oh, it's very hard to do with holding a camera. Upside down. Right like that. You don't want anything coming out. All the air is out. Now you can unscrew your collar. Refill it with water and recharge it with air. What's strange is when you take the pressure off, this collar is always very easy to remove. Like super easy. When you put pressure on it, it gets harder. I guess it... You know, the pressure in a tank, 100 pounds or something, just um, fills it up. Alright, now this, this takes forever. Out, unscrew the collar. There's an O-ring underneath there, right? O-ring. Yeah, I'll tell you a story on that one later. A different one we had. Now you gotta shine a light down here. If you can even see. And fill the water back up until it's right under this black little collar that you can remove if you keep on removing it. This one's jammed in. There we go. Fill the water about yay high. Alright, you got funnel. I use dehumidifier water because then it won't get funky like tap water will. This tap water here will probably rot out the stainless steel tank. If you believe that it can rot out, but it will. It's really bad. I had in that video water testing this area and it has radium in it radium 227 or 228 just keep on filling it until you're at the bottom of that collar doing this in the dark by the way but that's probably about right right there sometimes you get an air bubble and you gotta go take this out put it back in and shake the container and then you think it's higher than normal but it really isn't let's do that it's about was like three quarters full you can always size that up to about the size too now screw this thing back on and charge it up. This actually might be a little too full when I put this down. No, it's pretty good. It's good. Some came out. Always make sure that you align your nozzle end with the clip on the bottom. So you don't, don't put it like that. And then just suck it down. Excuse my light. It's a polished machine. This is an American at Marinex brand. By the way, I had it for a couple of years. I like it. I'll tell you a story. Remember that O-ring I was just showing you? It's under here. I'll tell you a story about that. Something pretty stupid. But in a minute, let me get this down. Charge it back up with air. This I just usually hand tight. You could use a little pipe, uh, not a pipe wrench, but uh, adjustable pliers on it. All right, that's tight. So I'll put your pin back in. Where's it go? This way, that way, some some way. Comes with a cool plastic tether. And then this one actually comes with a nice metal cap that you can use. I think it went around the other way. I'll go uh, play with this though. And then you can take this off and uh, charge it back up with air. To do. What does this thing take? 100 pounds? I don't even know how you can check that with a gauge because there's water in it. Don't put a tire gauge on there. You'll probably flood it. Charge it up. Yeah. I shook it a couple times. I actually got it to pressure up a little more than usual. I don't know if that did anything. Purge some air out of it. I don't know. I just feel it. I could be doing it wrong all these years. Put your cap on. And you're done. But that's a very nice unit. I think I got that from Zorro. Now they're charging tax down here, which kind of sucks. Well, there's story time, though. Remember that O-ring? Well, you know, same thing. O-ring on the top. So we had one of those tanks. Old one. Very cool one. In the uh, old country. Left there, never was on the moving truck. Uh, last minute, it was um, hoarded off. Or he left it. I'm not sure if I gave it to someone and they took it, but they said they didn't want it, so it was left. The 
Only thing wrong with it was it needed a new O-ring on the top. I never screw with it. I just when I look at that one, I go, "That's all that is," you know, because I was never the. I wasn't mine, you know. I didn't buy it. Never used it. it wasn't mine. So they would be like wrapping like Teflon tape around it and shit, charging up like every other week, like cursing. Nah, but have it. All it needed was a new O-ring, and it would have been fine. You know, O-ring costs nothing. But that's a story on that. I can't make this shit up. Some people though, you know, that's why we get the free stuff though in the trash. So that's that. Um, should probably leave this charged. We put a, uh, a new fitting on this tube that's totally unrelated. We put the, um, what are they called? The V style. Like it's twice as long. It's almost as wide. You see, I stripped out my hex over here in the brass. It's almost as wide as a, the hose is, 3 8. So that's pretty cool. Well, that is that. Let's go put our hose away. And uh, the thing is charged. Keep it charged. Again, I was going to buy another one, but really no need. That's cool to have the water can. Completely reusable. And Amerinax is a very good company. It's a good thing to own. Won't put out everything, but you know, you get a little paper fire or something. Put your thumb over the, uh, the hose. Fan pattern. It will knock down stuff, no problem. I used to make fires, backyard, burn stuff as a kid. Alright, excellent. And if you were asking, I think you can put some sort of, um, like foam in there, but I, I don't even know. If you know, write in the comments below. So I'm kind of interested in that, how you mix it, if you could buy a little thing of foam. I'm also interested in how you can recharge yourself. A regular fire extinguisher like on that wall over there I know you can buy the powder and stuff you probably you have to charge it through the discharge nozzle I know that you need like an air blower and you blow it and you charge it that way there's no um little fitting on it like the water can has so if anyone knows that let me know because I got one of them that is busted it was actually discharged you see I gave it to someone for the little trip to be safe what happens? They freaking discharge your thing in the car or the back of the car. I'm like, how'd you even do that? But, you know, I had the thing sitting and bouncing around for years. They have it for a day. You just don't know. Alright, gas tank is rusted on this. And I fixed it. Maybe I'll show that later. But that's all what's going on today.